Hi, I'm Monica Fernandez with Evolution Essentials. In this video, I'm going to share with you the top five essential oils for sleeping soundly, plus two extra ones. For over a decade, I have been helping women lead a wellness lifestyle with holistic tools such as essential oils and other alternative medicine techniques. So they have been able to reduce their stress and have more love and more balance in their life. I want to empower you to do the same. Make sure you stick around until the end because I have a free gift for you to easily reduce stress with essential oils. Sleep is essential, pun intended. And essential oils are a natural solution that you can easily use to help you do just that. When you're rested and have truly let your body relax throughout the night, you will have more energy, more focus, and be more productive the next day. So I really want you to have a good night's sleep. Feel free to take notes here. Of course, sleep also depends on your stress levels. If your stress is really high, chances are that you might not be sleeping soundly. So many of the essential oils that help reduce stress will overlap with the ones that can help you sleep better and longer. What I want you to do is after this video, watch this one right here, where I discuss the seven essential oils to reduce stress. Right now, within the five ones that I'm going to talk about, there's only one that overlaps. And then I'm going to give you two bonus ones that are also wonderful for sleep. Let's get started. The top five essential oils for sleeping soundly are, number one, lavender. Lavender is one of those that overlaps with stress management as well. You see, everything is related and connected. Like I said, if you are stressed, chances are you're not sleeping very well. Lavender is probably the celebrity of essential oils. Chances are you've heard of it. Uh, you probably have used it. And a lot of commercial products on the market are scented with lavender. And when I mean scented, I'm talking about synthetic copies of lavender. They're man-made replicas that mimic the scent, but therapeutically speaking, are a toxic cocktail. So keep that in mind when you see scented products. These synthetic smells do not derive from the true pure essential oils that I'm talking about in this video. The ones that I use are certified pure, and I'm able to obtain independent chemistry profiles um, and reports by independent labs so I know what's in the bottle at all times and I know it's safe for me and my family. I have a 25% discount for you in the description below on the ones that I use, so check that out. So lavender is one of the most versatile essential oils that people use for calming properties. What is lavender? Lavender essential oil is the result of the steam distillation of the flowers, and it's an oil that blends well with all other oils. It encourages restful sleep, it's calming to the nerves, and it reduces anxiety, and it's great for stress management, as I mentioned. Specifically, it blends well with Roman chamomile, clary sage, marjoram, cedarwood, and bergamot. Studies have shown that lavender essential oil, when inhaled, moderates the stress response by decreasing blood pressure, heart rate, and skin temperature. In addition, researchers observed that those who inhaled lavender oil reported mood improvements, for example, more relaxation. Another study looked at the diffusion of lavender at night, and it showed that it reduced insomnia and anxiety among residents with dementia and disturbed sleep patterns on four different nursing homes. So lavender, is a great essential oil to diffuse at night. Check out in my description some diffuser options. They come in all sizes and shapes. You can place some purified water in your diffuser, and then depending on the size of the diffuser, one to nine drops of lavender. I know nine drops should be for a big room. So if, you, if your room is small, just do five drops. If you're mixing it with something else, you know, another essential oil, you can put say three drops of lavender and three drops of another oil. Another study, there's so many studies on lavender, it's amazing. 
Another study showed that intermittent inhalation of lavender while sleeping increases deep sleep in healthy young men and women. So using a diffuser in an intermittent setting, which means they can be on for five minutes, for example, and off for five minutes, it's extremely effective. You can set your diffuser for a few hours or all night long. It really depends on the diffuser that you have. Essential oil number two. This is a tricky one because it also has lavender in it. So I'm actually giving you a blend. It's the restful blend and it's called Serenity. And it's made up of lavender, cedarwood, wood, ylang ylang, marjoram, Roman chamomile, vetiver, Hawaiian sandalwood, and vanilla bean extract. It's one of those magical combinations that creates a restful ambiance at bedtime. This blend has a calming and soothing aroma when you need a tranquil atmosphere. It smells so good that I want to wear it as perfume, and I have. It's amazing. So you can apply the lavender studies that I mentioned before to this one as well. And then if you want to go deeper, there are also serenity capsules that are an internal non-toxic alternative to a sleeping aid. So you can apply serenity diluted and fractionated coconut oil, which is a great carrier oil. Um, I have here an example of, of this. I keep it in a pump. It's easier to do my mixes. And put it under your feet. Uh, or on the arches of your feet. Um, and also you can do a, a little bit under your nose and behind your neck. I'm telling you, it's a lullaby of an essential oil blend. There's also a kid's restful blend version that's already pre-diluted with fractionated coconut oil in a roller bottle. Uh, you can also grab some ro roller bottles. I have some in the description. Um, suggestions of the ones that I use. They come in all colors. Uh, they're great uh, on the go and you don't have to pre, um, you don't have to make it every time. You can just pre-make them. It's really easy. So you can use a serenity with lavender in your diffuser. You can combine serenity with the grounding blend balance and that's a really chill blend. If you're enjoying this video, I would love for you to check out my other video right here that is 10 ways to manage stress naturally. Moving on, essential oil number three, pity grain. Pity grain, or petit grain, as the French say, is steam distilled from the dark green leaves and small twigs of the orange tree. So it's a citrus. Um, some refer to this oil as lavender for men. It has a warm, sharp, slightly woody, floral, and citrusy aroma. It can help reduce anxiety and increase sleeping times. So if you need to sleep longer, this is a great option to put in the diffuser. You can even combine petty grain with lavender or serenity. Great combo. Essential oil number four, spikenard. It's a really weird name, isn't it? Spikenard is the perennial herb with green leaves and small pink mauve bell-shaped flowers and the essential oil is stem distilled from the root of this herb. Spikenard is extremely relaxing. Its aroma is heavy, warm, and earthy. And not to be surprised, but spikenard is related to valerian. Have you heard of valerian root? So uh, it's a relative of valerian. It's very calming. It blends well with lavender, lemon, neroli, and vetiver. It encourages calm and peace and is great to support stress management. Essential oil number five is vetiver. Vetiver is in the grass family and the oil is extracted from its root with a process called hydrofusion. It is a natural tranquilizer. Known in Ayurvedic medicine as the oil of tranquility, uh, vetiver has a sweet, woody, caramel, smoky aroma and if you feel ungrounded, vetiver helps you feel rooted. So it's really exciting that there's more research nowadays on essential oils. And according to research, vetiver has been shown to reduce anxiety by altering central amygdaloid nucleus activity, which is the part of the amygdala that relates to conditioned fear and processes pain. 
So this is in, in your brain area. Another study concluded that both lavender and vetiver essential oils decreased inhalation and increased exhalation in healthy sleepers when the oils were diffused for nine to 15 minutes up to 37 times per night. So this is weird, but this is where the intermittent diffuser is useful because it goes on and off, on and off, on and off. And as I mentioned before, uh, there's some diffusers in my description that you can check out. Um, vetiver blends well with lavender, Douglas fir, sandalwood, spikenard, ylang ylang, and serenity restful blend. One of my favorite recipes for deep sleep is putting four drops of Siberian fir and two drops of vetiver in your diffuser at night. And I call this the deep sleep miracle. It really works. And you can find this beauty, uh, this blend, and my free gift that you can grab in the description below, with, which are my favorite 25 stress-reducing diffuser blends. So the secret to blends, in my opinion, is to change them up. Don't allow your body to get used to a certain combination. Try it out. If it works for a few days, wonderful. And then change it up. Some aromatherapists suggest limiting the use of the exact same oil or combinations to 21 days before taking a one-week break. This is recommended for two reasons. So the first one is to reduce the risk of sensitization to the essential oil or oils that you're using. So in case it's a blend. And the second one, this reduces the chance um, that your body will develop a resistance or tolerance to the effectiveness um, of the essential oils you're using. So change it up. That's really the conclusion here. If you're enjoying this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel right here. Hit the notification bell so you are the first to know when a new video comes out. I have two bonus essential oils for you. Both of them are sandalwood. One is Hawaiian sandalwood, and the other one is Indian sandalwood that I have here. And I just love sandalwood in general. And both of these are steam distilled from the wood. My favorite one is the Indian sandalwood. And both of these have a woody, earthy, and uh, slightly balsamic aroma. Sandalwood blends well with basil, bergamot, lavender, vetiver, neroli, and Roman chamomile. A study showed that massaging a 20% sandalwood oil to the lower abdomen of healthy people balanced autonomic nervous system function and created more harmonized states and moods. I love sandalwood exactly because of this, but also not only do I love the smell and wear it as also as perfume, I just love it, but it calms, it harmonizes, and it balances the emotions. Sandalwood has a long history in its usage in rituals and enhancing meditation. So try to do a brief meditation for five minutes after you put one drop of sandalwood under your nose before bedtime or diffuse it. It's calming, it's relaxing, and it will be one of your faves, just like it's mine. If you got major value from this video, please hit subscribe, the notification bell, and share with your friends. And don't forget to grab my free gift in the description of my favorite 25 stress-reducing essential oil blends that will be just as effective for you to sleep soundly. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. See you next time.